Hey everybody, welcome back to another Behind the Curtains episode. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Today, we're gonna look at Switchbox from Michael Chatlane and Gimmick Magic. All right, Switchbox, what is this? It is a box that switches things. No, really, that's what it is. It's a switching device, okay? It's a vanishing utility, it's a swapping utility. Uh, this is a great little tool. Uh, if you do the mystery card routine, uh, or if you do card to impossible location, either one of those, uh, this is gonna be, uh, this is probably gonna be the gimmick you've been looking for. Uh, Michael Chatlane's new switch box is the perfect tool for your mystery card routine. Now you can finally push decoy cards into a black hole, never to be seen from again. All right, so you're interested. You're thinking, wow, I. I might want to pick this up. I kind of like this. All right, so you order it, it comes to you in the mail. What are you going to get? Uh, you're going to get a clear acrylic box. Inside that is going to be the gimmicked tuck case. Okay, gimmick tuck case, you don't get any cards. You have to supply your own cards. You can order this in red, rider back, or blue. So make sure you order the tuck case that matches your deck of cards. And you're gonna get the download code to the online video. The video is roughly 18 minutes long. All right, so was I fooled? Sometimes we watch the commercial and we think, oh, I know how they did that. Well, I don't know that I was fooled per se because you kind of already know it's a switching device. You know that going in. Uh, so there's some things that go along with that that you kind of assume. And Michael even says in the video that this is very similar to a trick called Froggy uh, that Snake released. So if you have one, I don't know that you'd necessarily need the other. But if you watch the trailer, I think one of the things that instantly attracts uh, you to this is the angles. The angles on this are beautiful. You probably have a whole uh, semicircle uh, worth of angles. You probably don't want anyone behind you. Of course, you should never want anyone behind you. You're not performing for people behind you. It's people in front of you, so it's got great angles. Um, I wouldn't uh, let people take the tuck case though, so that's not inspectable. I mean, you could use this as your everyday tuck case. I don't think you have a problem there, uh, but this isn't a tuck case that you'll be able to hand out or let people remove the cards from. It is a gimmicked utility, and if they held it in their hands, they would know how things worked. All right, so how's the video? Um, it's 18 minutes, like I said, so it's not a lot. You're not getting any live performances or studio performances for that matter. It's pretty much uh, just straight through. He does show you how the trick goes, but it's all shot as an over the shoulder table shot. So that shot never changes, okay? You have some light background music, uh, but it's, it's not bad. Uh, he, you do have the option to download this in French and English, so that's nice to have the multi-language options there. Uh, and there's uh, some stuff at the beginning about assembling the gimmick that was in the video too. Mine came assembled, so I don't know if yours will. Mine did, but uh, it, the assembly didn't look difficult. It, it looks like it comes pre kind of fabricated and you just kind of do a couple of things and assemble it, so it's not not too shabby. Uh, he'll teach you the initial effect, obviously, and then he'll go through some extra uh, pointers, different ways to vanish, you know? There's more than one way to vanish. He shows you a couple different ways. Uh, there's a fast way, that the kind of way the box comes, and then there's a lightning fast way. Uh, and if you wanna do the lightning fast way, it actually requires a little bit more setup, initial setup on your part, but it's, it's really simple. It's like a piece of tape and you're done. When I opened the box and, and played with it a little bit, I was just really taken back by how well made the gimmick is. It does not look like something somebody made in their garage. It looks professional. It looks legit. Uh, I had fun just playing with it because it was it's fun to play with. So uh, I think you'll be really impressed with the quality of the gimmick. As far as you getting it initially and then being able to perform it right away, um, I say practice wise, things you'll have to know going into this. Like, like I said, the video is only 18 minutes long, so it's not terribly long. And he doesn't really cover every single aspect of the trick. He's not teaching you everything, he's just giving you an overview. And so you're coming into this, you're probably gonna need to know how to control a card, at least control a card to the bottom, okay? Uh, how to do a Mercury card fold. He never really covers that explicitly, okay? because it's probably not his to teach. So uh, you've got to be able to do that and you have to be able to have confidence when you palm. So you have to have some palming confidence, got to know how to do a mercury card fold and control a card to the bottom. I think all three of those things uh, are gonna definitely be on the curve as to whether you can perform this right out of the box or not. The only thing that I didn't 
100% love, like if I was going to give this 100% and then come back a little bit and say, ah, is that uh, the gimmick itself, because of the way it's made, it has a tendency to speak a little bit when it's activated. So there is some noise, and I do even hear the noise even in the video when Michael does it too. So I would just be aware of your surroundings as far as ambient noise, which I would just go right into this and say you probably need a table anyway. It's good to have that box on the table. I don't think you want that in somebody's hands. You don't want it in your pocket. It's best to be on a table. So you're probably a table magician, probably table hopping restaurant magic. Restaurant magic, I think this would be fantastic because the ambient noise is gonna cover any of the gimmick noise. Uh, you got the table right there. Mystery card plays well with restaurants. So I think that's probably you. You're probably not doing walk around, probably not doing you know stand up magic. This is definitely something you need a table for and a little bit of background noise. Is it worth your money? It is priced a little bit on the high end. It is on the high end. Uh, I will say the gimmick, like I said, I'll go back to the gimmick. It's extremely well made, so you are getting a really well crafted gimmick. Nothing that you really need to do uh, in this, okay? So there is that. Um, video wise, it's a little short. Like I said, no presentation, no, no live shots, so that's not great. So what I would suggest is watch some of the reviews, talk to some people, and make an educated decision about whether you think this is right for you. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about Switchbox from Michael Chatlane and Gimmick Magic. Of course, if you have any questions about this magic trick or any of the other magic tricks we sell here, please don't hesitate to send us an email. We want to field your questions and you can send those to support at magicshop.co.uk. Check out our blog for tips and even more advice at blog.magicshop.co.uk and check us out on YouTube for more reviews. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.